The actual process is, the, is custom implants. Uh, the commercial term is 3D AccuScan, but it's a, it's a process by which a person comes in, for example, and says, I want to look like, uh, I want to have a much broader mandible, I want higher cheekbones, but I want very, very refined cheekbones, and I want to almost design it the way I want it. Or, if you have a patient who's extremely asymmetric, it's very difficult to get people perfectly symmetrical with off-the-shelf cheek implants or even off-the-shelf chin implants. So in these particular cases, we will actually get a CT scan. The CT scan is then converted into a three-dimensional image in the computer system. That three-dimensional image then can be manipulated. So for example, that let's say we're talking about building out and building up the mandible, either in the angle or the chin. So what we'll actually have is a existence in the computer of somebody's mandible. So this is a person's mandible or jaw bone. And we can, we can look at it and we can see asymmetries and we, we can see the differences between both sides. And then when we put it into the system in a company called Medical Modeling or 3D Systems, which is in Colorado, um, their software is able to manipulate this so that we can build an implant around the existing model so it fits precisely on. So for example, we have an implant here that will fit precisely on this model. And um, through that software program that we just did, we then go on uh, gotomeeting.com. So we're, on, we're conferencing, and I'm directing the technician in Colorado in real time how much I want, the design I want, and we're actually designing the implant either to, in very simple terms, to fit the defect or in the extreme where we have a, a, a patient that comes in wanting to look like a movie star and we can actually create the appearance and we can simulate the the structure of the bone we can simulate the angle and inclination I had someone said I want a jaw that looks like Paul Newman's jaw um, we can actually take the features of Paul Newman design that type of implant and make those features on a particular patient